some of the concern we had over Maria Sakri going into this match is how hard she competed Friday night against Coco Goff and being up a set in a double break, having three match points, finding herself down a break in the third. She competed like we had never seen before. And sometimes that, as you mentioned, yeah, you think, oh, she's got all this momentum. A lot of times in an individual sport, that leaves you flat. And it felt like she was a little bit flat on one of the best attributes that helped get her to this final this last two weeks. Stress can be so draining, yeah. both yeah. physically and emotionally. For Maria Sakari, it was too much today, obviously playing the world number one as well. But Sakari, I mean, what did she prove to you, Prakash, over the past two weeks getting back to the final here at Indian Wells? I, I know she played well in, in Guadalajara last year, but I thought this was a career week for her. To be able to come through those wins against Navarro and Coco in the manner she did it and just be so tough emotionally and mentally in that third set, I think I think she crossed a bit of a barrier. You know, she has so much passion and so much fight in her, but, you know, that fire, it can, it can sometimes burn you. And I think Dave Witt coming on with his cool, yep. laid-back temperament and just kind of speaking to her in that Dave Witt way has, it seems like it's paying off early, and you're seeing that in her moments. I love that reaction, Linz. At the end of the Coco match, you just, as soon as she won, yep. just... Nice and calm, got one more match to go, and just kind of went up and shook hands. Not all this energy release. Yep. I think it's been a great week for her. David Witt's reaction after Maria Sakri beat Coco Goff, yep. simply this. Yep. And it was all about that for Sakri here. There was no emotional volatility whatsoever. And if you look at her scoreline and her road to the final, she was all over the place. Lost the first set of, that she played in the tournament. She went into this match having played four three-setters. And just none of it really took anything out of her mm -hmm. until today. I think that match against Coco finishing after 11 p.m. and having to fight in the manner she did I think was just a little bit too much to overcome against a player playing as well as Iga. Uh, I will also tag a, a couple of the tennis points that have changed for Sakari. You know, that tightness sometimes causes you to not be as aggressive and intentional on those big points. You know, I've seen her in big moments. She's getting short balls. She's hitting it and going backwards. You know, now she really seems to be coming in a little bit more, being a little bit more intentional with her play. Great signs. Uh, Maria Sakari making championship weekend is better for the WTA. Such a, a bright light yeah. on tour. Congratulations to her making the final. David Witt, what a great pairing for yeah. these two. First tournament together, they get to the final of arguably the biggest tournament outside of the four Grand Slams.